Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at two different types of LED tubes here, okay? Um, now there is um, different types of it, there's a lot of different LED tubes out there, okay? But there's actually um, two types, okay? So there's one with a starter, which is this one, and there's one without a starter, which is this one here. Now, um, LED tubes, um, there's a lot more of them starting to show up around, okay? Replacing the old technology fluorescent lamps. Okay, and there's actually a lot more of these on the market. Okay, and um, yeah, they're very good tubes. They do, um, they're actually a lot better than fluorescent. Okay, they're more um, more of a digital light, light globe, okay, compared to fluorescent. And um, one thing about these is that there's no glass, there's no plastic. I mean, the other plastic, there's no glass. Okay, so if you dropped it, it won't break. Okay, and also they're, um, they're energy efficient. Okay, and they actually, um, and they're actually a lot brighter, okay? Both of these tubes that I have here are both nine watts, okay? Now, of course, the baton that I have here is a baton that's chambered for T8, which would be um, 18 watt, or, or T12, which would be a 20 watt. Now, a lot of people might think that nine watts is not much, but if you've been playing with LED lights, you know nine watts is bright, especially for LED tubes. The longer version of these is, is 18 watt, though, but this is the short version, okay? Now, um. This tube here is made by um, a company called SAL. Okay, this one here, I don't know who makes it. It's probably just some generic thing. Okay, but it's um, but it's a LED tube. This one here, now the LED tubes are more expensive too. You will pay more for these compared to fluorescent, but it's worth every cent. Now the SAL tube here had came with a starter, okay, which is this right here. Okay, so this one does not, so there's no starter in there. Okay, so, um, so what's the difference? Well, one you need to have the one comes with a starter, one does not. Okay, um, but um, the one that comes with a starter, you need to have the starter in the baton, otherwise the tube will not work. So this tube here is only would be, only be suitable for magnetic ballast. Okay, this one here is suitable for magnetic. Okay, but it's not. Both of the neither of these are suitable for electronic. Okay. Just because this doesn't come with a starter doesn't mean you can use it on electronic ballast. It's not compatible with electronic ballast. You actually need to buy a special LED tube for that, which I don't have and I don't know where I'll get one from. Okay, so this, um, so, so, um, according to the Australian LED laws, um, you do need, if your baton is, um, magnetically ballasted and has a starter hole, your tube needs to have a starter. Okay, that's what I was told. And if it's, um, if it doesn't have a starter hole, if it's got a concealed plate, then you can use the one without the starter, okay? The reason being is because you need something to block that hole off because people can stick their finger in there. Okay, like, like anyone would do that or not, but um, but yeah. So the baton we're going to use is my Moonlight baton, of course. Okay, and we're going to turn them on and see what the difference are. This one's cool white and this one's warm white. So here we go. Okay, so they both turn on instantly, of course. There's no blinkage whatsoever. Now the SAL tube has has these plastic bits over the edges, as so does this one. But these ones here doesn't cover up the tube, okay? But it doesn't that, that's irrelevant. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, the tubes are bright. Both of them are quite bright. Um, uh, a little difference is that this one here has metal on the back. This one does not. Okay, I'll just rotate these around so you can see see what they look like on the back. See, so there's that one, and there's that one. Okay, on the back you got this metal part. On the back you just have this part. Okay, this one here, this part here is where all the LEDs are. This one here is probably like a heat sink for the LED. Okay, so this one here um, can put light all the way around, as where this one here can only do it down. So when you've got diffusers and something, it tends to half out. Okay, so um, yeah. So this tube here I've had for a few years and it hasn't failed, which is good to see. They don't, none of these would fail like some of the other ones. Okay. Um, I find um, now, um, depending on the your you or who you are or where you are, depends on what tube you want for your baton. If you have um, a, a baton which has starter holes, you technically buy this one with the starter. Okay, oops, that's the wrong switch. You buy this one. Okay, this will be suitable. Now, if your baton has a concealed plate where there's no starter, you probably use this one. Okay, but if it's electronic, you'll need to bypass the ballast and you put this in there. Okay, so... Um, so that'll be it. Now I'm starting to see now T5 LED tubes for the T5 ones, those skinny ones, they're starting to show up around as well. They're starting to get T5 LED tubes as well. As well. I don't have any as of yet, but I will get one. Okay, no problems. Okay, T5 LED tubes will be suitable for electronic ballast, okay? 
the T8 ones, I'm just trying to find one suitable for electronic ballast is actually quite difficult. Okay, at least for me, at least I'm trying to get electronic ballast T8 LED tubes. But if you buy one for an electronic ballast, it won't come with a starter. It will just come with a tube and it'll just tell you to put the tube in the baton. That's all you do. Okay, so um, so yeah, that's one huge difference there. And of course, with this one here, you need to have the starter in, otherwise the tube is not going to work. Okay, so if I, um, let me just twist the starter now. I can do it, yep. I've just turned the starter. Now, as you can see, the tube is not going to work because the circuit is incomplete. So you have to have that starter in, otherwise the tube doesn't work. So, so that's that's there's nothing preventing you. So technically, by law, you've got to have the starter, but technically, you've got to have the starter, otherwise the tube doesn't work. So that's why it's designed like that to be certain that you do put the starter in. Okay, so now it's working because I've put the starter in properly. This one here doesn't have the starter, but as you can see, there's a hole exposed, so that, that's not really safe. So if I wanted to, I could put a sticker over it and cover it, or just use it in a baton that doesn't have a starter hole in it. Okay, so so that's the one difference between the two tubes. Okay, um, okay, so they both they both price the same. Okay, they both prop they're both made by different companies, but they're both very good lamps, suitable for today's times. So um, if you're going to be buying a fluorescent baton, I'd recommend that you buy it with LED tubes. Okay, you have to be aware that you might need to buy the baton and the tubes separately. There might be some modifications needed. Okay, but it's very very versatile. So you've got a fluorescent tube with a starter, I mean an LED tube with starter, one without. So depending on where you get it from, depends on which one you get. If you buy it from a light globe shop or anything, you'll probably get the one with a starter. If you have an electronic ballasted baton, you've got to be certain you get the correct one. Okay, if it's electronic, you won't get a starter. If it's a T5, there'll be no starter. Okay, but um, just be certain you choose the correct one. Okay. Um, so yeah, and um, so that's the difference between an LED tube with a starter and one without. So Hope you enjoyed and that'll be it.